We're here at uh, Historic Holman Stadium here. It is June 7th, 2023, and we have a field announcer who's going to be announcing the uh, lineups here. Pinkerton is the home team. And now the starting lineup. There's a Concord team. I hope you heard all the introduction. Did the starting lineup. Pick it in Astros. I'm not sure you heard all the uh, lineups there, but there they are. Introductions here. A semifinal, a semifinal game, and we're going to have uh, the national anthem. Let's see, where is the flag here? We'll pause since we can't see the flag. And there's our flag out in left center field. Took me a while to find it and uh, not moving, not much wind. Wind doesn't look like a factor. And we've got uh, th three umpires here. There's our Concord team in the uh, first base dugout as the visiting team, uh, the lower seed. Uh, they are number, they are the number uh, seven seed. And there's a scoreboard out there telling us what's going on. I think they even had the time on there. Yeah, 410 on the scoreboard, so we're getting a little late start. This is where the uh, Nashua Dodgers played. It's called Historic Holman Stadium. And the numbers down here are, let's see. We got uh, Don Newcomb played here in 1946. He played... Uh, uh, and 46 to 48, as did uh, Roy Campanella. And number 42 is Jackie Robinson's number. So let's see who we got going out there to pitch. Looks like uh, number eight going out there. Uh, 
Oh, we'll take a break as he warms up. Throw goes, throw goes down to second. We're just about ready for action here. So I think it's Horner that's pitching. So uh, we're going to have pitcher against pitcher right from the get-go. Concord wear in their road uh, crimson uh, jerseys with uh, gray pants. Game starts on 4-10. First pitch up. Ball one, pitch up high. I think this pitch has got some zip. One ball, one strike. So we're kind of looking down here. We're up in the third level. I've done a few games here, but this is the first time I've done it from the press box. Last time it was too hot. Swinging strike. One ball, two strikes. One two pitch coming up in the dirt. Catcher blocks it. Yanako is the catcher. Get some swing in. Goes after a high letters pitch. One strikeout. Dawson Fancher stands in. Next batter for Concord. So we got a crowd still fil filtering in. A little bit of. As, as usual in Nashua, a little bit of traffic getting in here from uh, the interstate. So Dawson Fancher stands in here. Pitch up high, ball one. High ball out to center field, center field coming in. Can't get it, gets past him. Fancher stretches it to a double, so makes attempts a shoestring catch, unable to get it, and give him a and then a hustle double on it. Nate Walker stands in. He was the uh, coach's offensive player of the year. Four home runs, hit about 438. Got a lot of walks as well. On base percentage was over 500. So uh, Concord has the man they want down there. We'll open that shot up a little bit so we'll see what happens here. Keep an eye on the runner on second to try to keep him close. Pitch inside, ball one. Backs him off the plate. Pitch high, ball two. So they're aware of his power. They're not going to uh, not going to give him anything good to hit. Going to work the edges. 2-0 pitch coming up. Shortstop gets it. Fancher tries to go to third, aggressive brace running, and he's thrown out six to five. So a field is choice. Mitch Coffey stands in from the uh, left side. He is the, uh, he's playing first place there. Walk the leads away down at, down at first. Ball outside. So Concord's been aggressive in the, the base running, and uh, sometimes you're not going to uh, take that chance. You're going to get caught. Pitch outside, ball two. Comes a 2-0 pitch. Coffee. Down low, ball three. So you got plenty of zip on the ball, a little bit of... A little, uh, little bit of command problems here. Takes his glove off, stretches, checks the runner at first. Pitching from the stretch. Walk the leads away at first. Right down Main Street. 3-1 is the count. Two outs. Runner on first to be off at the crack of the bat. 
Wide open spaces out there. 3-2 is the count. He just rears back and fires. So we'll see what Coffey can do here. Walk to be off with the uh, at a 3-2 count here. So the first baseman falls down trying to get back to first. So it's actually ground four unassisted, a rare play. Pitcher was getting over there and so anyway, after uh, half inning, no score. Number four, Albert, leads off. He's the center fielder, stands in, as you can see, from the left side. Pitch outside corner, strike one. So Pinkinen is uh, round to third, throw over to first. Throw gets passed, runners heading on down to second. Throw over was into on the inside of the line. He went to grab it and got passed. So to be an error on the throw there, E5. Brendan Horan stands in here. Nobody out, runner on second. Brooks Gregg out there. Hauled in. Hauled in. They ought to try and appeal at second there. I think it looks like he might have left early. So F9, a good rip, but the uh, right fielder, Revelese, got back for it. So Pinkerton's won their games. Uh, they are uh, 18 and four counting the playoffs. They've averaged uh, about seven to two for a score. Number 22 stands in here. Marshall, pitch down low. Runner advances to third, so that technically was a uh, sacrifice out. Didn't count as an embat. So runner on third. That'll be a single. A Pinkerton runner comes in. This is the first run of the game. And we give him an RBI to number three hitter. Things up. Prezzetto. Corsetto. A runner on first. One out. Pitch outside. Year out holds on to it. Pitching from the stretch. Fly ball to center. Walk to hand. Ranges over. Hauls it in. Two outs. D.H. stands in here, number 11, Barra Budo. First pitch is a ball. Use the D.H., so he's in there for his bat. Two outs, runner on first. Pitch low and outside. Count goes to two, two balls, no strikes. So we got a gray overcast day, temperature in the early 60s, not much wind, that flag's not moving around. Swinging strike, two balls, one strike. Lights are on already, so this is the first game of two. Winner of this game goes to the finals on Saturday. Gives him a side arm, thing, side arm pitch, count goes 2-2. Two, two. Yanako, the catcher, is on deck if he reaches. Retrieves that foul ball. So we got a 2 2 pitch coming up. Run run first. Foul the way at home. So Craig was uh, first team all star in the uh, coaches. Uh, 
ratings this year for Concord. Matt Drews was second team. Catches fair ball, and so Concord gets him on three long fly balls. But Pinkerton gets one run. We go to the top of the second, one nothing Pinkerton. Throw, go, throw goes down to second here in the top of the uh, top of the second. It'll be uh, five six seven for uh, Concord. It'll be uh, Lelagian, Revelis, and Kromboski. Pinkerton's pitcher back out there for a second inning of work at a one-run lead. Pitch down low, ball one. Working quickly here. Down low, ball two. Call strike. Two balls, one strike. Two one pitch. Outside. Three one. So Lelagian uh, DHN has had some uh, pretty good hitting games the last three or four games. Three two. Short stop the first. He had a little trouble getting it out of the glove. We thought, but uh, he, he had stuck with it. Six to three. Dan Revelise. Revelise is out there in, I think he's out there in right field like he usually is. He stands in from the right side. And he's up there swinging at the bat. One strike in the batter. Follow down, passed over toward the conk, uh, toward the Pinkerton, past the Pinkerton dug, dugout. Two strikes quickly on him. Crowd still filtering in here. Down low, ball gets away, not too far. So Concord's average about seven runs a game. And, uh, but they've given up about four a game. Pitch up high. Two balls, two strikes. So Concord, uh, both of them hit fairly equally. One hop at a short, throw over to first. Two up, two down here. Number 14 stands in there, Krobaleski. Krobaleski, only a freshman. Kind of hits one off the handle, looks like. And so they go quickly in the uh, second inning, uh, one nothing. We go to bottom of the second. Go goes down to second, uh, and we have I think we have six, seven, eight up. We have Yanako, the catcher, leading off here. Those of you that have followed baseball for a while, I believe it was his father or his uncle that uh, played for Pinkerton. And I think he, uh, I think he made a play to sign and played some uh, minor league ball back in the probably back in the 90s now. So he offers that at one strike. A hit over past the shortstop, and he's turning, taking, takes a big turn, throw comes in, he gets back. So Yanako with a solid single over the shortstop, he leaped, but just couldn't get to, up to it. Archer stands in, he's the uh, right fielder. 
So Yanako, the catcher on first, leading off. Catcher's not known for speed. I'm not sure uh, he'd be a threat to steal. And there he goes on his first pitch. Shows, how, shows you how much, I'm, how much I'm aware here. Whether it was hit and run or what, so. One strike on Archer. Go back, he's quickly close. So the other game today will be 19 and one Londonderry versus uh, Goffstown. Fall the way, so two strikes in the batter. Yeah, somebody got a catch. Somebody, I think, caught a rebound off the stadium, turned around and caught it. So two strikes in the batter. Runner on first, bottom of the second, up high. Can't get him to chase. One, two pitch. Craig working from the stretch with a runner on. He's hit one deep, and they're going back. Off the wall, Yanako's coming around. Looks like he's gonna score. So a long double for Archer. Brings Yanaka all the way around from first. So pinking it up. Number seven, Elijah Sharp stands in. He he's the uh, he wears number seven and he plays the number seven position. So nobody on, uh, nobody out here. First pitch is a strike. Sharp is the uh, number eight hitter in the lineup. Taking a big lead out there at second. Concord. Uh, Hits him, goes to the screen, dead ball. So the first three have reached here in the uh, top of the second. First and second, and brings up number. Preston Liberty. He's down there playing third base. So first and second, nobody out here. Craig working from the stretch. Lelegian gets it, races back, off with the mask, pop out, foul out to the catcher. So, put a star on that one. He gave it a good effort. Uh, not, that's not Lelegian, that's year out, excuse me. Lelegian has played catcher. Peyton and his year out, so put a star on that one. Sorry to. Uh... No, just into the stands. Bounces around. One strike. Concord's third base went over to the edge. That's, uh, I think, Finch is over there at third today. One strike, one out here. Let's see if they're still, doesn't look like they're playing a bunt. Pitch on the corner, outside. Two strikes on the batter. Craig looking to get a strike out here. Looking to get a strike out. 0 2 pitch coming up. Up high. Can't get him to go after it. That flag's not moving at all, so wind is not a factor here today. One, two, pitch. Single. No coming home. So it gets by. And they move up on the throw, so we get a single for, uh, that was Albert at the top of the order, and he gets an RBI. 
So second and third with uh, one out. So Pinkerton came to play here. Heart heavy bats. Looks like we're going to have a trip to the mound with Scott Owen. So we'll take a break while they do that. So a conference at the mound is over. We got the uh, horn, the uh, shortstop stands in. Pitch a strike on the outside corner. Second and third, one out here in the bottom of the second. High ball center. Oh, Walker hauls it in in short center field, throws into the cutoff man. F8. And we got the number three hitter stands in. He uh, he singled first time around, first baseman. Gonna give him an intentional walk. I guess they knew about him. Load him up. Brings up Corsetto, who flew out to right, the cleanup hitter. Number five. This pitch on the outside corner. One strike. Fly ball looks like in right field is camped under it. So Pinkerton gets two more here when we go to the bottom, uh, top of the third. Three nothing Pinkerton. Number 10 leads off for Concord. Jacob Plant. He's out there in uh, left field. Pitch inside, ball one. So game moving along pretty quickly here. I guess that clock is stuck. Ball two, I guess that clock is stuck at 410 over there. It's about 4.30 now. Two strikes on Plant. He's number eight batter in the order. Down low. No 3-0 here. Concord looking to get somebody on, get something going here. Top of the third. Yeah. At the letters, three balls, one strike. I always say if you stand there, you get the ball. You start toward first. Again, starting toward first, so. 3-2 is the count on the leadoff batter here in the top of the third, Plant. Jacob Plant. Followed it down. Down toward the uh, dugout down. down. Looks like we got some warm-up action over there for Concord down there in the, uh, the deep down right, the bullpen. So we get a 3-2 count again. Pitch number seven, he steps out. Right field is shading over the right field line. 3-2 pitch coming up. Round to the third. Throw over to first, five to three. Good pickup there by the third base. The number nine batter for Concord stands in. Up high, ball one. Number 11 on the back. Let's see who we got here. Kalen Goodrow. Ball goes to the screen. I think we got two balls on the batter. Hit. 
Inside corner at the letters. Two balls, one strike. Ball back. Hits the screen, coming our way. I guess we only have the vertical screen. We don't have the uh, horizontal screen here, so. 2-2 two -two pitch, outside. Count goes full for the second batter this inning. So we're getting lots of lots of uh, lots of pitches from this guy. Up high, takes a walk, brings up the top of the order. Get some noise from that Concord dugout. Goodrow brings up. Brings up uh, second time around, pitcher versus pitcher here. Horn, Horner, the pitcher for uh, Pinkerton. So run on first, one out. Craig, the leadoff man, a good stick. Gets the bat on the ball. Six four three. Hard hit ball to short. And three up, three down. Here we go to the bottom of the third. Pinking it up. Three nothing. Barbudo leads off. He uh, flew out to uh, left field to end the first. So bottom of the third, game moving along. Looks like Craig's out there for his third inning to work. Center field, and running it back. Arctor with good speed comes in and grabs it. A lot easier for that center field to coming in. So F8. Paul Yanako stands in here. He uh, singled, came around and scored on a run, scored on a, a double by, uh, and looks like he might fall out here. First baseman under it and hauls it in. So quickly, two outs here in the bottom of the third. Coffee over there making the catch, playing first base for Concord. Brings up Archer. Archer hit a uh, long double. Uh, one hopped the uh, fence out there, past the left fielder. Off speed pitch on that inside corner. One strike. Walked her back. He's back. And he hauls it in. He's the. Uh, Offensive player of the year for Concord, so three up and three down, actually for the division one, but he also a pretty good defensive player out there. F8, hauled it in, going away. Brings us to the uh, top of the fourth, and it is three nothing. We'll show you that scoreboard. That clock hasn't moved, but there it is, Holman Stadium. Top of the fourth here for Concord. Number two hitter Fancher stands in. First pitch is a strike. Fancher, Fancher uh, blooped one to uh, short center field that the uh, center fielder couldn't get to. Just gets him at first. Six to three. Nate Walker stands in here. It's 
Solid single up the middle, just gets through. Makes a big turn. There's our Goffstown team coming in. Looks like they all dyed their hair. Dyed their hair blonde. So one out, runner on first for Concord. Brings up the uh, cleanup hitter. Coffee stands in from the left side. He grounded to uh, the second baseman, actually, and the first baseman fell down, and the second baseman beat him to first base. Kind of an odd play. Two balls, no strikes. So Goffstown is the fourth place team, and they will be playing Londonderry. Londonderry's 19 and one. And Londonderry's only loss was to Concord. Three nothing on, down at Londonderry on uh, April 22nd, so. Strike, two balls, one strike. Top of the strike zone. He goes hacking at that inside pitch. Two-two pitch. All the way down to the uh, left field, past the dugout. Two-two is the count. Run one first with one out. Walked her back. A good move to first. Walked her only a st step off. So we got a 2 2 count here. Keep an eye on Walked her over there. Well, he walked him. I guess I lost track of the count. 3 2 count. So Concord with two on and one out here brings up Lelagian. He grounded to short. Looks like uh, Lelagian's uh, worked, worked quite a few pitches for walks. So they turn another double play, 6 4 3. So they got the defense work, and we go to the bottom of the fourth 3 0 uh, uh, Pinkerton. So number eight hitter leads off here, uh, Sharp. He uh, he got hit hit by a pitch in the uh, second inning here. So bottom of the fourth, game moving along pretty quickly here. Looks like Craig is out there for uh, his third in fourth inning of work. Pitch on the inside corner, off speed, one strike. Got him popping up. It's like second baseman. Second baseman stays with it. First baseman got out of the way. Right fielder was coming in. He was ready to take over. So one out here in the bottom of the fourth. There's up Libin, he's the uh, third baseman. All back. Two strikes quick, two strikes quickly.
O2 pitch coming up. Got some. Three pitch strikeout. Brings up the top of the order, Albert. He's reached on an error. And single last time up. So two outs, nobody on here in the uh, bottom of the fourth. First baseman ranged over and left nobody to cover first. Um, pitcher tried to get over, couldn't get there in time. Catcher backed up, so no advance. So we'll give him a we'll give him a single on that. Brings up Horan. He's the shortstop. He's uh, fly it out to left and fly it out to center in two prior appearances. He's the number two hitter in the order. Had a notion off speed held back. One strike. Throw over to first. Runner is back. Trying to keep him close. Two outs. Throw over again. Like the third baseman's camped under that. Hauls it in. So we go to the uh, top of the fifth. And it's 3-0. Uh, 3-0 three nothing. Three nothing Pinkerton. Game moving along pretty quickly here. We show you our fabulous scoreboard for historic Holman Stadium. They just had a ceremony down here uh, designating this uh, stadium as a a tour on the um, New Hampshire Black Historic Trail. So we'll be back. Dan Revelise, right field that stands in. Top of the fifth, looking to get something going for Concord. Con Concord is uh, down three nothing. Had only had a couple of hits, and uh, has had any threats. Uh, Wiped out with uh, double two double plays ended the last two innings. Pitch down low, two balls, no strikes. We got six, seven, eight up for Concord this inning. He holds up. Three one pitch coming up. On the corner, three two. So Revelis looking to get get to first. Six to three. Been a lot of sh lot of stuff hit the shortstop tonight. Five, five, uh, five assists for the shortstop and a. Uh, I guess he's got a pop out, so he's got an out, a put out. Pitch inside. So number fourteen stands in there. For Concord. All the way. Krabaleski. One one is the pitch. One ball, two strikes. So Horner working quickly, the pinketing pitcher. Quickly to the motion. One two pitch coming up. Down low goes to the screen.
2-2 pitch coming up. Down low, 3-2. So he's had a lot of 3-2 counts. I'm not sure there's a pitch count limit here in high school, although I hear him talking about it a little bit further down the press box. 3-2 pitch coming up, one out. Looks like that's going to be a single up the gap. Looks like it's more than a single. Looks like we're going to have a play at second. Oh, hits one out to right center and uh, with some sting and it rolls. Brings up Plant. So Concord with a threat here with one out. So he had the first batter of the game, uh, second batter of the game had a double, but uh, he got it erased on the field as choice. So and number 10 standing in here, that's uh, Plant. Trying to keep him close at second, close to the bag. Pitching from the stretch. Pitch at the, at the letters, strike one. Steps off, runner steps back. One strike pitch coming up. Two strikes. Good draw on deck. 0-2 pitch coming up. Catches that inside corner. He stepped back. Not a lot of strikeouts. That's actually the first strikeout of the game. It's only the second strikeout in uh, Concord. And I think... Oh, Scott Owen down there at third base, flashing some signs. Goodrow stands in here. He's uh, looks like they got him playing short today. Goodrow looking to step in here. Looks like there might be some sort of play on. Two outs with Concord. Concord uh, runner on second will be off at the crack of the bat with two outs. Third baseman ranges over, scoops it up, and five to three. Don't think the shortstop was going to be able to throw him out. So Concord leaves one on, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Count a score remains three nothing. Throw goes down to second, and we'll have uh, Pink, and will have three, four, five up: Marshall, Corsetto, and Barbudo. Marshall's uh, got singled and had an intentional walk in two prior appearances. Big guy hanging over that plate. Strike on the inside corner. Open stance right now, and I think he steps in when the pitch comes in. Two strikes. He didn't like that one. Steps out, twists his head, loosens up his neck. So Craig out there for his fifth inning of work. Up high, can't get him to bite on that one. Get him swinging. Strikeout number two for Craig. So Craig settled down here uh, after a rocky first two innings where they scored, but left the bases loaded in the bottom of the bottom of the second. There's a strike. Craig's a competitor. Corsetto stands up. He's uh, second baseman. He's flown out to right twice. Fouls back. Quickly two strikes on him. Pitch outside. 
So Craig was part of a uh, uh, Concord High hockey team and won state championships as a freshman, sophomore, and junior. They didn't win it this year, but as a sophomore, a pie. Count goes 2-2. Two, two. As a sophomore, he was on uh, the uh, Concord team that won the state championship two years ago when Jonah walked to pitch the perfect game right here in the stadium. He gets them at the knees. So oh, two strikeouts. Actually, three strikeouts, two in a row here, brings up Barbudo. He has flown to left and he flowed, uh, f uh, flew out to center, so he's been getting the ball in the air. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna complete the cycle here. He's gonna Fly out to right, so he's flown out three times, left, right, and center. We go to the top of the six, three nothing, Pinkerton. Toe goes down to second, and Brooks Craig stands in, the senior, and he's gonna be going to uh, Merrimack College next year and playing a little baseball. Top of the order. Well, he's struck out and hit into a double play, so he's due. Squares the bunt, pulls it back, call strike. And everybody moving. It's a solid wrap. Right fielder gets turned around, but he gets it. Fancher stands in. He's uh, he hit a double in the first inning, two prior appearances. So Craig gave it a good ride, but uh, right fielder had to go a couple steps to his right to get it. It's down low. One one is a count. Follow the way over to the toward the Pinkerton dugout. One ball, two strikes. Catches that corner, so Conkins had only three hits. And let's see, a couple of walks. One of them intentional, I think. So two up, two down here. Brings up Nate Walker. Looking down at Scott. Looking down at Scott Owen. Manager, third base coach. So Walker uh, singled and was out on the field of choice in the first inning. Foul back. Gives it a full stroke. So 307 down left field line here, and I don't know what it is the other way. I don't see it over there. But uh, and it tops it, second baseman. We go one, two, three in the sixth. Four to three. Second baseman charges it, throws over to first. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, and it is three nothing. And uh, Pinkerton, Pinkerton's pitch is getting pretty strong here. Although uh, Pinkerton has not scored since the second inning, so but Concord gets a few people on. They've had a couple double plays against him. So anyway, so we'll we'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Yanako leads. Yanako leads off here. Uh, he uh, single came around to score. I think the third run here, or the I guess the second run in the second inning. Craig out there for his sixth inning of work. Fouled away. One strike. And he. Uh, he fouled out to the first baseman on his second. 
That looks like a strike. So both these pitches have been uh, bearing down here in the later innings, mid to late innings here, but uh, Conkin unable to get anybody around. Get some swinging. Strikeout number four for uh, Craig. Brings up Archer, the right fielder. He doubled and flew out to center. He's a uh, number seven hitter in the order. So one out here, bottom of the sixth. We heard the Pinkerton coach saying, you know, get me another one, get some more runs. These guys are never out of it, pointing to, over to Concord's bench. Fouls another one, almost the same place. Two strikes on him. So we're moving along pretty good. Game started at about, I don't know, 10 past four. It's uh, just past five o'clock here. Ah, it's 5.05, .05. they got, this, got the clock set out there. I'm so we're looking for some uh, fresh baseballs with all those foul balls. Somebody brings them out, two or three. So two strikes in the batter, one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Archer, Archer stands in. High and inside, one ball, two strikes. One, two pitch coming up here. Third baseman knocks it down, holds on, puts it away. Well, to call that E5, unfortunately. Hard hit ball, he blocked it with his chest and unfortunately it kicked away a little too far. Brings up uh, Sharp. He popped to the second baseman and he was a hit batsman. So he'd been on one out of two times. So one out, man on first. See if they're gonna play a little small ball. There he goes. Walked to range his back. No. So a long fly ball. Walked it gets back. Hauls it in. F8. And brings up number nine hitter Libin. He's uh, popped to the catcher and struck out in two appearances. Runner on first was all the way down to second. And uh, looking to turn on the Jets if that ball wasn't caught. I guess we got, what do you got, maybe a pinch hitter here? The ump is correcting his uh, card here. What do we got down there? Like number three down there, is that who we got? It's like a three. Pitch up high. Yeah, looks like number three here. Who we got number three? Jones. Got the Jones boy up. Two outs, one run first. Pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes. So two out here in the bottom of the six. Craig looking to get that third out here. Two one. Throws over, keeping him close. Two one pitch, foul ball, past third. So actually on that fly ball, the center, the, uh, uh, it looks like the hit and run was on and the, uh, that's why the runner was all the way down to second when Walker got back and hauled it in. Throw come, throws the ball back in here. So 2-2, two, two, two's across the board. Two outs, 2-2 two, two count. Ducks in. Craig starts walking to the dugout. Thought he had that inside corner with that curve. Count goes full, 3-2. One on first will be out, off with a 3-2 pitch. 
Off the helmet. Off the helmet. They probably ought to, somebody ought to check him, see if he's okay. That's what the helmets are for. Hit him on a 3-2 pitch. Certainly uh, no question on that count of it being intentional or not in this situation. So pitch just got away. Brings up top of the order, Albert. He's uh, reached on an error and singled twice. So two outs here in the uh, bottom of the six, pinking and threatening. First pitch is a strike. Probably not a bad time for Concord to pull that pickoff play with the uh, shortstop over there with a left-handed batter. Foul back, fouled over to past the third base stands. Two strikes on the batter. O2 pitch coming up. And call a balk. Going to call a balk on him to run his move up. Umpire right behind him there. So second and third. Pitch outside. One ball, two strikes. So Craig has struck out uh, three in the last, uh, actually four in the last uh, two and a half innings. So he needs a strikeout here. Pitch inside. Again, he starts walking off. He's not happy with the call. Drove the batter off the plate. Two strikes, 2-2. Two -two. Craig's a competitor. You can see that fiery spirit there. 2-2 two -two pitch working from the... Catches that outside corner with the curve. We go to the top of the seventh. Three nothing, pick it in. So we're here for the uh, seventh inning. First pitch is a strike, so Horner's gone the whole way here. We got coffee, four, five, and six up for Concord. He hits a major league. Uh, Fly ball. Right field hauls it in. So conk it down with the, I don't know, it's last two outs. Lelegian stands in here. He's failed to reach in two appearances. So Pinkin and beat Concord uh, next to last game of the season, eight to six. Pitch inside, ball one. If that game had gone the other way, they would have ended up tied for the year. So these te two teams aren't that far apart, but uh, fall away, holds up. One one is the count. Takes one for the team. Takes one for the team. Off the elbow pad. So we got a hit batsman. Reveille stands in here. Grounded the short twice. Nine for twelve. So we have a uh, pinch, pinch runner in here. We got uh, Trevor Craig out there. Sophomore. He's on first. Got some good speed. And 13. Reveille standing in here. Concord looking to put a rally together. Foul back. One strike. Outside. One ball, one strike. So Concord digging back, digging deep here, see if they can put a rally together and tie it up here in the uh, top of the seventh. It's down low. Two balls, one strike. Nobody up in uh, any bullpens here. Both pitches have gone the whole distance. 
2-1 pitch coming up. High, ball three, 3-1. Three so Reveille's not gonna help him, not gonna help him. Foul ball down the bullpen. I don't know if they're gonna get the second baseman. First baseman very tentative uh, with the fence coming up on him and looking over his shoulder, so he uh, went off the glove. Uh, they don't call errors on foul balls, but certainly it gives a new life here. We got a, looks like we got a 3-2 count here with a runner on first with one out, top of the seventh. Concord needs another runner here. Right now, tying run is on deck. Oh, all right, they try the 6-4. Six, 6-4-3, four. Six, four, double play. So Pinkerton moves on to the finals. I'm unsure of that call, what happened there. They're out. Scott Owen is out there talking to him, saying he was off the bag, et cetera, and he had it, he came up with it. He pinned it against his body or something. So Owen is out there fighting, and the runner still stands on first. So 3 nothing looks like the final here. I don't think you're going to get the umpire to change his call. I'm going to ask him to go talk to the other two umpires. That's it. So Horner pitches a uh, gem for uh, for Pinkinen, aided by three double inning ending double plays, six four three. Concord out there, Concord uh, makes it to the semifinals. So we follow them for through the years, and uh, two years ago they were on this diamond for the finals, and they uh, won the state championship. But it's not to be this year, but a fine year and we're losing a few seniors here big senior crowd their last game together and we take our hats off for all the fine uh, games and performances they've given to us so if you want a copy of the game charlie russell for concord tv you can contact josh at 226-8872 uh, thanks for watching